law enforcement in Germany is constitutionally vested solely with the states, which is one of the main features of the German political system. Policing has always been a responsibility of the German states even after 1871 when the country was unified. The 1919 Constitution of the Imar Republic did provide for the possibility of creating a national police force, should the necessity arise, but it was only in the Nazi era that state police forces were unified under central control and a national police force created. The police became a tool of the centralized state and the Nazi party. Following the defeat of 1945, Germany was divided. In 1949 the three western zones were turned into the Federal Republic of Germany, the Soviet zone became the German Democratic Republic. Each country pursued a different path concerning law enforcement. In light of the gross misuse of power by the centralized Nazi state, the new constitution of West Germany provided for a strict separation of powers, placing law enforcement firmly in the hands of the states. The only policing allowed at the federal level was border control controlled by the Ministry of the Interior and originally organized along paramilitary lines, the Federal Criminal Police Office. Since 2005, Germany's borders became largely open because of the European Union, and the Bundesgesetz was renamed the Bundespolze, which is still limited to rail traffic, airports, ports, and several other special duties. East Germany created a centralized police force under the Ministry of the Interior, the paramilitary Volkspolze. It also established a border police force, initially an independent force, later integrated into the army and then reorganized as an independent military organization. Federal Agencies equals German Federal Police equals, established in 1951, the Bundespolze is the uniformed federal police force. It is subordinate to the Federal Ministry of the Interior. The Bundespolze was previously known as the Bundesgesetz and had a more restricted role until July 1, 2005 when the law renaming the BGS as the BPOL was enacted. Prior to 1994 BGS members also had military combatant status due to their historical foundation and border guard role. All personnel on duty wear sidearms. Some units have light aircraft and helicopters to facilitate rapid access to remote border areas and for patrol and rescue missions. A Coast Guard force forms a part of the GFP. It is equipped with 14 large patrol craft and several helicopters. In addition to controlling Germany's border, the GFP serves as a Federal Reserve force to deal with major disturbances and other emergencies beyond the scope of land police. The GFP guards airports and foreign embassies, and several highly trained detachments are available for special crisis situations requiring demolition equipment, helicopters, or combat vehicles. After shortcomings in police procedures and training were revealed by the terrorist attack on Israeli athletes at the 1972 Olympics, a task force known as Border Guard Group 9 was formed to deal with terrorist incidents, especially hostage situations. The GSG-91 World Attention when it rescued 86 passengers on a Lufthansa airliner hijacked to Mogadishu, Somalia, in 1977. A military rank structure similar to that of the Bundes was replaced in the mid-1970s by civil service type personnel grades. The service uniform was green but is now blue. The West German Railway Police, formerly an independent force, and the East German Transport Polze were restructured under the BGS to form the Bundespolze in 1990. Equals <inaudible> another central police agency, the Federal Criminal Investigation Office, with approximately 3,000 agents, operates nationwide from headquarters in Wiesbaden. The BKA is a clearinghouse for criminal intelligence records. It provides assistance to La Currency and Air in forensic matters, research, and criminal investigations. It is also the national point of contact for the International Criminal Police Organization. The BKA enters cases only when requested by land authorities, or in cases involving two or more La Currency Dare. The BKA is involved in combating various terrorist gangs, which have plagued the country since the 1960s. Equals others equals Two federal agencies involved in security matters are the Federal Intelligence Service and the Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution. Based in Munich, 
the BND is restricted to the investigation of threats originating abroad. It depends heavily on wiretapping and other surveillance techniques applied to international communications. Such activities are authorized only to counter the danger of an armed threat to the country, but intelligence authorities have pressed for the added power to monitor suspected international traffickers of weapons and drugs. The BFE is primarily a domestic intelligence gathering service concerned with espionage, treason, and sedition. It has no powers of arrest and cannot use force, but it carries out surveillance and supplies the BKA and other police agencies with information on opposition parties, international crime, drug trafficking, terrorism, and other illegal activities. Its main office is in Cologne. Similar offices exist in each land. Although they cooperate closely with the federal office, they operate under the control of land authorities. State agencies The German states are responsible for managing the bulk of Germany's police forces. Each state has its own police force known as the Landspolze. Each state promulgates a law which lays down the organization and duties of his police. Although the land police are regulated by 16 different legislatures and are, in fact, different police forces, there has been an increasing tendency towards standardization of police activities nationwide. Concerns about terrorism and the growth of organized crime have strengthened the movement to centralize police procedures and operations. The idea of creating one single police code for the whole of Germany came up in the 1960s but was never passed. These forces are organized by cities, towns, or rural communities, but all are integral components of the police forces of the land in which they are located. The Land Minister of Interior supervises police operations in his or her jurisdiction. Although the internal organizations differ somewhat, all land police are divided into protective police, a uniformed service carrying out routine law and order duties, and criminal police, who carry out criminal investigations. The separate administrative police formerly had duties that included the registration of residents and the issuance of passports, identity cards, and various permits. These functions have been transferred to civil government departments in nearly all La Currency and Dare. Although uniforms and vehicle color schemes are similar all over Germany, the police forces are structured slightly differently in each state. For example, the criminal police are part of the ordinary police force in some states and separate organizations in others. The idea of using the same color for police uniforms and vehicles throughout the European Union has resulted in German police forces slowly changing vehicle liveries from white green to silver blue. The silver color is actually increasing the resale value and thus lowers leasing costs. The blue color is part of the standardizations. The uniforms have also changed in most states from the green-beige version introduced in 1979 to blue. Hamburg was the first state to make the transition. In most states, newly acquired vehicles and helicopters get the new color scheme, except for Bavaria and Saarland, which for the time being will stick to the old green-white or silver scheme for their vehicles and uniforms. Local agencies Currently, Many cities in Germany also have a local public order force. Depending on each state's laws, the name of the force that performs these limited police-type functions could be Ordnungsamt, Kommuneller Ordnungsdienst Station Currency Tischner Ordnungsdienst, Stagepolse, which means city police, in some cities in the state of Hesse. These city employees mainly wear uniform but some could be in plain clothes under the municipal administration's eyes and ears on the street. Depending on each state's laws, these local employees could be armed or unarmed. Mostly they are charged with monitoring municipal bylaws and laws that fall under the responsibility of municipalities, which include monitoring the conduct of shop owners, sanitation inspections, veterinary inspections and minor infractions and misdemeanors such as illegal parking, littering, state and local dog regulations etc. They usually only hand out warnings and fines and can only perform a citizen's arrest as any other citizen can. If they see any major crimes they are required to call the state police. In few states however, municipal police officers do have the same rights, powers and obligations like the counterparts in the state police. This is particularly the case in the state of Baden-Wawan-Quarter-Rutenberg. 
the tasks of a municipal police force depends on the size of the municipality's territory and the number of inhabitants in which it is operating. The police authority of a town or city can transfer more tasks and responsibilities to its police force, only if approved from the regional government. Neighborhood Watch Many German states have neighborhood watch programs, but do solely exist in a few states, baden württemberg Quarter Rutenberg, Bavaria, Hesse, Saxony. Most members are armed with pepper spray. Their main duty is crime prevention by, conducting walking patrols to deter street crime, patrolling near schools and kindergartens, maintaining contact with potential victims of crime and juvenile delinquents. Bavaria has instituted a system of citizen patrols in which unarmed teams of two volunteers patrol assigned areas to improve subjective security. These teams carry a radio to a call for help if necessary and a pepper spray for protection. A white arm band with black letters identifying them as a neighborhood watch patrol. Citizens in baden württemberg quarter rutenberg can participate in the volunteer police program, where roughly 1,200 citizens voluntarily assist their local police in 20 towns. These volunteers are specially trained, wear uniforms and are worn and armed with normal police gear. Though, the government seeks the abolishment of the auxiliary police and the financial supply as well as the instatement of new auxiliary officers was immediately stopped. Citizens in Hesse and Saxony can also participate in a volunteer police program, where some citizens voluntarily assist their local police. The volunteers are trained for 50 hours, receive uniforms, pepper spray and a mobile phone. People can also join the Watch Polze which is less authority than regular police to perform basic police tasks such as traffic or guard duties, releasing regular officers for patrol work. Training Police training is primarily the responsibility of the individual La Carantin Dare, although the federal government provides assistance and coordination. The high level of police professionalism is attributed in large degree to the length and thoroughness of training. The situation is different in the five new La Carantin Dare of eastern Germany. Long accustomed to a compliant society, police forces of the eastern La Carantin Dare have been described as understaffed, undertrained, poorly equipped and woefully unprepared to cope with the challenges posed by the growing numbers of far-right skinheads and neo-Nazis engaged in violent hate crimes against foreign workers and refugees. Most police recruits spend about three years in combined training and service in the readiness police, although the training time may be shorter depending on previous education. Recruits are exempt from military service. Training encompasses a six-month course at a police school that provides a grounding in law, legal procedures, and police conduct. After about six years of duty as a patrol officer, an individual with an outstanding record who does well on a highly competitive examination can go on to two or three years at a higher police school or a college of public administration to qualify for the upper echelon. The very few candidates who qualify for the highest ranks of the police study for one year at the Federal Police Leadership Academy in Ma one quarter NSTEHL troop. Off-duty carry German police are authorized to carry their department-issued firearms, and only their department-issue firearms, while off-duty. Germany is one of the very few countries to allow this. Although allowed to, only few German police actually carry off-duty. If German police wish to carry any firearm other than one issued by their department, they are subject to the same restrictions as everyone else. German police must have a safe to store their gun in while not carrying making sure it is not easily accessible to others. Women in the police, the land police have had women members since the forces were reconstituted after World War II. Initially, female officers were assigned to cases involving juveniles and women, working in plain clothes without weapons. Since the mid-1970s, police women have performed general police patrol duties and their proportion of total police officers is steadily rising. However, their representation in leadership positions is still relatively low. Alert police, alert police are available in each land for riot control although their primary function is training police recruits. The readiness police receive standardized weapons, vehicles, and communications equipment from the federal government. An office in the Federal Ministry of Interior monitors and coordinates the deployment of readiness police units, 
which can be called upon to assist the police of other La Carencindere in case of riots or other civil disturbances. The alert police are assigned to barracks where they are organized along military lines into squads, platoons, and 120 to 150 member training or standby companies. In most La Carencindere, the alert police contingent consists of one 600 to 800 member battalion, but in six of the larger La Carencindere they are organized into regiments. Duties vary according to local requirements. In Hamburg, for example, readiness police patrol the subway system, assist in police raids in the red light district, and are present at large demonstrations and soccer matches. Their units are equipped with their own transport, tents, and rations, enabling them to be shifted quickly to other La Carencindere without having to rely on outside support. The readiness police have water cannons and armored vehicles but are armed with lighter weapons than those of the BGS. Career brackets, in general, the German law enforcement authorities of today have personnel of three available career brackets, the lowest being the Mittlerer Dienst, followed by the so-called Jehovener Dienst, and the Har Paragraph Hera Dienst. Only the Federal Customs Administration and the Departments of Justice and Corrections of the state still have personnel of the very lowest career bracket Ian Fatcher Dienst. To understand this structure it may be helpful to compare it with military rank structures, because decades ago it was really similar. Ian Fatcher Dienst equals soldiers, Mittler Dienst equals NCOs, Jehovah Dienst equals COs, Har Paragraph Hera Dienst equals staff officers equals German police equals, today 9 of 16 state polices recruit only for the career bracket of the Jehovah Dienst. Entry into Mittler Dienst requires successful completion of 10 years of schooling, or a successful training in any other job and some years of working in this job. Period of training is two and one half years at the police academy starting with the rank of Polsemister and the currency RTER. The highest possible rank in this bracket is that of Polizema Orbt Master Mitzulich. In the mid to late 70s the Mittler Dienst was disestablished for the detective branch Criminal Polze, but in some state polices of the former GDR they still exist. Rank designation in this case F. E. Criminal Hauptmeister. Entry into the Jehovah Dienst requires a high school diploma and period of training is three years at a College of Administration and Justice. The highest possible rank in this career is that of Erstapolse slash criminal Horpch Commissar. The third career bracket is the so called Har Paragraph Hera Dienst. A direct entry into this career bracket is possible and requires a law degree of a university, but the majority of these officers had started their career in Mittlerer, or Jehovah Dienst. Period of training is two years at the Deutsche Hochschule der Polse or German Police University. That is the only official centralized educational institution of the German police. Starting at the rank of Polizeirat, or criminal writ up to Polizeiprocurrency Sident, which is equivalent to the rank of Chief of Police in the USA. Judiciary Germany has a civil law system based on Roman law mixed with traditional Germanic law. The Bundesverfassungsgericht is the German Supreme Court responsible for constitutional matters with power of judicial review. Germany's Supreme Court system, called Obersgerichtsche Paragraph V des Bundes, is specialized, for civil and criminal cases, the highest court of appeal is the Inquisitorial Federal Court of Justice and for other affairs the courts are the Federal Labor Court, the Federal Social Court, the Federal Finance Court and the Federal Administrative Court. The VAR Paragraph Lukastrafe Gesetz but regulates the consequences of crimes against humanity genocide and war crimes, and gives German courts universal jurisdiction under specific circumstances. Criminal and private laws are codified on the national level in the Strafe Gesetzbuch and the Bar 1 Quarter of Ehrliches Gesetzbuch respectively. The German penal system is aimed towards rehabilitation of the criminal and the protection of the general public. Except for petty crimes, which are tried before a single professional judge, and serious political crimes, all charges are tried before mixed tribunals on which lay judges sit side by side with professional judges. Equipment equals transportation equals German police typically use cars from German manufacturers. Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Audi, 
Opel and BMW were commonly used as patrol cars. States used to prefer vehicles built in or close to the respective state. However, with most states now leasing instead of buying their vehicles and in light of European Union rules on contract bidding, states have less latitude in choosing which manufacturer will provide their patrol cars than they did. In the Saland which is adjacent to and historically closely tied to France, vehicles from French companies as well as European Ford are used as police cars. The Bavarian State Police uses mainly BMW and Audi vehicles, as both companies are based in Bavaria. In the eastern states of Germany, mostly Volkswagens are in use. The Hessian police prefer Opel cars. Baden Wa one quarter Rutenberg mostly uses Mercedes Benz and Volkswagen cars for their police force. Before the police reform in the mid 1970s, Germany had many city police forces and each had its own police car livery. Dark blue, dark green, and white were popular colors. However, the dark colors were perceived as a disadvantage as many accidents occurred at night during high speed chases. Therefore, the Conference of Interior Ministers decided on standardizing police car liveries so that the cars appeared non-threatening and could be easily visible at night. And so bright green and white were the colors associated with police vehicles in Germany beginning in the 1970s. More recently, police forces changed to silver cars and vans instead of white ones as they were easier to sell than the white ones when their police service was over. Now. Most states have light blue instead of green stripes, but cars painted in the old livery can still be seen. Only the states of Bavaria and Saarland have opted to retain the green on white silver livery. All other states are transitioning to blue on white silver. These days, German police forces generally lease patrol cars from a manufacturer, usually for a period of three years. The leasing company marks the patrol cars using plastic foils with reflecting strips as borders instead of painting them. The foils are removed when the cars are sold to the public as standard silver-used cars when the lease runs out. Unlike in other countries like the United States, police cars in Germany rarely come with any special equipment not available to other users of the same model, as the cars on sale in European markets are generally considered to be fit for police duty without any further alteration. Equals type of vehicles equals, these are used by law enforcement agencies in Germany. Equals uniforms equals. From 1945 all German police forces wore different colored uniforms but since the mid-70s the police of all West German La Carantine and West Berlin have worn the same green and beige uniform most parts designed by Heinz O. Westergaard in the early 70s. The standard uniform consists of tunic, parka, pullover without shroud, coat, visor cap and necktie in moss green, trouser, pullover and cardigan in brown beige, shirt in bamboo yellow, shoes, boots, holsters, leather jackets and other leather gear were black. Leather gloves were olive drab. Exceptions Visor caps with a white top were worn by the Verkir Spölze, by the Sud Spölze during traffic regulation. White gloves, tunics and coats were worn during traffic regulation and by the Verkir Spölze during ceremonial duties. In some La Carantine d'Air all officers worn visor caps with white tops in general. The Wasser Sud Spölze worn standard uniforms of a slightly different design. Instead of moss green anything was dark slash navy blue. The shirt was white and the visor cap had a white top. The Bergs wore an all forest green uniform with bamboo yellow shirt. After German reunification, the Volksbölze was broken up into Landsbölze and switched to the standard uniform. During the period of transition, they still worn their old uniforms but with Western style sleeve and cap ensigns. Because most European countries have blue police uniforms, most German states as well as the federal police are introducing newly designed dark blue uniforms to conform with the common blue image of the police in Europe. At present only the police forces in Bavaria are not intending to alter the Oestergaard design, whereas the other states have already begun or completed the shift from green to dark blue. In line with the uniforms, police vehicles and various items of equipment are also changing color from green to blue. See also List of law enforcement agencies in Germany, Zollkriminalamt, Sartzenwildschaft, Crime in Germany, Prisons in Germany. References, 
This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the Library of Congress Country Studies.